we are going into a country that's inside Rome itself. We are going into one of the last monarchs on the earth because this place actually has a king. The Pope is the king. All right, they give out passports and everything. This, behind these walls, is its own country, Vatican City. Now I know, usually I do conspiracies in the macabre, and if you want to get all Dan Brown about it, go to my video about uh, Roslyn Chapel. But today, we're probably just going to do a little more touristy, sightseeing kind of stuff. Because I've never been here, and I, you guys ask too much for me. I just want to live. I just want to live for once. There's so many missing wieners. Where are all the wieners? Currently, the tour guide that you can't hear is explaining to us how this sculpture is of Artemis, the fertility goddess. She is covered in bull testicles, which I refer to as... Ball testicles. Yes, ball testicles. This is the Sistine Chapel. And what I'm doing right now is not just breaking the rules, but since the Vatican is its own country, it's probably breaking the law itself. You are not allowed to videotape or take pictures inside the Sistine Chapel, but obviously, I'm a rule breaker. This is the wall of the Last Judgment. As we come up to the most famous part of the chapel, you are about to see the creation of Adam, which I thought was going to be so much bigger. It is not as big as you think it's going to be in person. Yes. St. Peter Square, you have probably seen in most movies about the Vatican or featuring the Vatican in it, but it also is the place where people congregate to hear the announcement of a new Pope. In a matter of moments, you're about to see the balcony where you see for the very first time the new Pope appear to the public. St. Peter Basilica. We gotta be quiet. We just came out of the Sistine Chapel and now we're in here. Uh, St. Peter, the tomb of him is underneath this big canopy area and the dome is underneath here as well. But this place is humongous. I thought the churches in Mexico were pretty spectacular. This one takes the cake.
Uh, we're gonna do a little touring around this place, all right? I'm gonna have to re-edit a lot of this stuff and like dub my voice over, so. Cause you gotta be quiet in here. Everyone's so stuffy. You're supposed to touch the feet of Saint Peter's statue here. Bring you good luck. It's a little hard to explain the gravity of this dome right here. It is awe-inspiring. Okay, one piece of advice about St. Peter's Basilica. If you don't like seeing old mummified popes, the basement is probably not the place for you. So we just got out of uh, St. Peter's Basilica. We're heading into St. Peter's Square, but right here, this porch is where the new pope, when there is a new pope, is first seen. The white smoke comes out, the pope enters that, that balcony right there, and announces to the world that they, uh, they are the new pope. Um, to be honest with you, pretty uh, amazing. The Sixteen Chapel, the Basilica, pretty amazing. Uh, if you're not a people person though, you might want to make sure you're not here during peak tourist season. Like, don't come in the summer. Even right now, it's and this is an off season. It's so pretty crowded with a lot of people bumping into you. Um, you know, and, and a lot of kind of fighting for to to get a spot to to look at stuff. But it, it's it's pretty surreal. It's definitely worth checking out. St. Peter's Basilica. So again, just got out of the Basilica of St. Peter and the Sistine Chapel. But honestly, what might be the prettiest part of the bunch is uh, St. Peter's Square. Fountains, statues, space. Space, probably the most important. So to keep this, you know, Matt Tavenish and conspiracy themed. If you don't know, there's a little place called the Vatican Archives. Supposedly, I mean, not supposedly, there is the Vatican Archives, but uh, there's certain sections that are keeping secrets that no one's allowed in. Secrets like Jesus made Marian. Uh, they uh, knock on boots or are not supposedly those kind of documents might be in the Vatican archives a bunch of other things as well one more quick piece of advice um, is that this lovely lady right here was uh, smart enough to get us signed up for a tour that skipped the lines and just um, first thing in the morning we went right into the museum and then into the Sistine Chapel and let me show you why you need to do that you see this line forming behind me? See this? It just keeps going and 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 going. Yeah, that's to get in the Sistine Chapel. So if you're not here uh, early and if you don't get one of these these lovely stickers that let you cut the place, ooh wee. Bring some water and some snacks with you because you are waiting.